They came to beg for the programs they want to save with the city's massive budget surplus, bed bug control, the High Park Zoo and youth outreach programs. A couple hundred million in surplus I think they have. I think there's a couple of dollars in there that they can afford to send our way. Yet Toronto's budget committee finds itself at an awkward crossroads. After a year of tough cuts, there are suddenly tens of millions of dollars more than expected. Much of it the result of cost control measures. We're to the good, 285 million. Last fall we were told we were going to be in the hole, 775 million dollars. So somebody's math wasn't very good. Now councillors are lining up, looking to tap into that extra cash. But this is exactly the situation the Ford administration feared. While there is surplus money, the budget chief says the tough work of containing costs isn't over yet. One major issue, ongoing costs to pay out retiring police officers. At least $6.5 million of the surplus has to go to a sick leave reserve fund. That lets retiring officers collect up to nine months salary for unused sick days. It's a valid concern and we do have to find out better ways to uh, manage benefits and, and pensions. Ideally, the city would like to eliminate the sick bank entirely. Police don't want to give it up. There is a balance between economic realities and the welfare of the people that are policing the city. With contracts awarded by a provincial arbitrator, the city's hands are effectively tied. The budget chief says it's one more example of the city's budget surplus being spoken for. We're behind two, three hundred million dollars in transportation. We're behind two hundred million dollars to fix our buildings. We're behind this, we're behind that. That leaves councillors with little chance of chopping away at the surplus. The city's painful budget cuts seem destined to stand. Jackson Prosco, Global News.